In this video, we're going to try and integrate this. We are going to try to integrate this, but we are going to use the reduction formula. Remember, uh, the idea behind the reduction formula is that um, you, you have, you're trying to integrate something that's complicated, and then you, you would apply the, uh, the reduction formula, and then it becomes easier to integrate. So you apply the reduction formula, and then it will become slightly easier to integrate. So this thing here will then be slightly easier to integrate. And then you would apply the reduction formula again, and then later on you're going to get something along the line of cos to the power of well two less, which will be four x dx. And then and then and then you apply it again and again and again, and, and it becomes simpler. So we've already seen this. So if you don't understand this, then track back to one of the early videos. So let's let's now try and integrate this using the reduction formula. So hang on. So when when you're, you're when you're trying to integrate when you're doing trigonomet trigonometric uh, integration, always have this in the back of your mind. So we, we can always turn this block into um, into a block containing cos only. So so using this, um, I rearrange it. So uh, so cos squared x equals um, e sorry uh, sine sine squared x equals one minus cos squared x uh, and then you would put this into here so now you've got one block so this block here becomes this and then this block here remains the same and then now now uh, multiply this out this times this so this times this will then give you this and then this times this will then give you this okay so hang on and then uh, and then so, so so now you've got one one block taking taking away another block. So um, so 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 break this up. Um, break break this up. So so currently you've got this here. So break this up. So you you you're doing one integral and then you take away another integral. Now apply the uh, the reduction formula to this block here. Okay. So so currently we've got currently what what we're trying to find out is this block here. That equals this, take away this. So now let's use a reduction formula on this. So hang on. So applying the uh, reduction formula to this block. So now, now we've got this thing here. So applying the reduction formula. So applying the reduction formula, this decreases by 1. So now you've got cos to the power of 5. Because uh, this decreases by 1. And then you've got this block here. And then n, n remains the same. So this n here remains the same. So this n here remains the same. And then you've got n minus 1, which will be 5. And then n is 6. And now, uh, well, this thing here gets minus by 2. So, um, so minus by 2. So that will then give you this. So using the reduction formula, this thing here becomes something uh, plus, uh, plus this thing here. So now, uh, now going back to where we were before, we were trying to... Um, we were trying to work this out, and it turns out that this that this is equal to this block. Take away this block. Now, using the reduction formula, that then gave us this thing here. So, so the uh, applying the reduction formula on this block gave us uh, gave us this thing here. So now, uh, so so this block here is this block. So now, what you've got is um, you've got you've got one thing. And then you take away uh, 5 over 6 of the exact same thing. So really, you can simplify this to 1 over 6 of that same thing. So, uh, so this thing here remains this thing here. So um, this whole thing here is equal to this thing here. So now all we need to do is evaluate this block here. So we need to work out cos uh, to the power of 4. So using the reduction formula, Using the reduction formula and cos to the power of four, um, that will then give you that will then give you this. Now this by now you should be able to integrate this easily. So um, so to integrate this um, to integrate this, uh, replace it with this. So uh, well I'm, I'm I'm assuming you can easily integrate this. Cos cos uh, cos squared of x you should not have to integrate easily. Sine squared of x you should not have to integrate easily. So to do this, replace a cos squared with this. So now um, factor out the uh, the half. Uh, sorry, factor factor out the uh, the half. 
so that will then give you this two here will then give you eight so that will then give you eight and then it becomes this and then uh, and then integrate it that will then give you well x uh, if you integrate cos to the power of four of x it will then give you this whole thing here so now hang on so now right from the start we were trying to work out this and then uh, and then it turns out to be this now we, we we've just worked out um, we've just worked out this block. This block here, we've just worked out that whole block, which was um, which was this thing here, which was this thing here. Okay, so so we've just worked out cos um, to the power of four. So we've just worked out this block here. So so putting now now put um, this block into into here. So uh, so well, sorry. You put this block into here, and then this thing here will then become this. Okay. So now we are currently here. So uh, so this thing here is equal to this whole thing here. So now it's just a matter of tidying this up. So tidy up, uh, tidy this up. Uh, this times this, this times this, this times this. Blah blah. And your overall answer will be this. Okay.